And away they go from the 1600 meter marker. Towards the inside, the black cap of Royce Taxi is right there. Baltic Amber with the blinkers goes off to lead them. Run, Rhino, Run is well positioned. Fantasy Ladies, two off the right. They are followed by Soldier's Code is about three lengths off the first call. Along the inside, Cat in command, the bright yellow blinkers. On the outside, Magical Bets in the red. Nicholas on the outside is also now among the leading group as they try to settle into that stride. They are followed further back in the field at this stage by Sonar Active. And the pace is a good one up front as they move to the 1,000 metre. Nicholas leads it by two, Baltic Amber is second, Soldiers Code third and Royce Taxi is fourth. Run, run, run back in fifth position with the orange cap gets a scrub or two. Cat in command is near the rail. Fantasy Ladies on the outside, then comes Magical Bet, followed by Secret Warning, and then comes Golden Forge. That's about 10, 11 lengths off the leader, followed by Crackpot and Caribbean Day. Top of the lane, 500 metres to go. Nicholas the leader. Royce Taxi's down the inside. Baltic Amber still right there. Run, run, run towards the outside. Then Fantasy Lady, Magical Bed. Golden Fort is on the outside. Then Crackpot. Coming down to the last 300 metres. Baltic Amber. Run, run, run. Starts a forward move. Royce Taxi, Cat in command. Caribbean Day is looking for some running room. Run, run, run. Magical Bed. Golden Fort. They across the track over the last 100. Magical Bet, Run Rhino Run, these are the two. Magical Bet's coming home well. Magical Bet from Run Rhino Run. Very unlucky Caribbean Day got going when the race was over. Here's number 13, the winner. And that is Magical Bet. This for Glenn Cotts and Muzieni, the six year old Latino Magic. Win number five from 28, number 13, pace 10, 30 and 370. What a run from Run Rhino Run, who continues to hold form. Very unlucky loser, Caribbean Day. Take note of this replay. Every time I looked on the right-hand side, couldn't get a run. Only gets beaten three quarters of a length. Baltic Amber will run into fourth. Golden Ford, secret warning. Further back in the field is Cat in Command, Sonar Active. The tote favourite was number seven, Caribbean Day. At 6 Rand 70. Now we'll take a look at the head on. Royce Taxi's further back in the run. A well stretched outfield. Caribbean Day is three off the right hand side in the blue colours. Even further before that, had nowhere to go. Once again, watch that gap closes. There, he gets squeezed out, has to get taken out. It's a magical bet and run, run, run. They're doing battle. They come very close together. And Caribbean Day was right on top of them at the business end. So a very good duel between the three of them until the eighth race back to the studio. Welcome back for the Gold Circle Witness KZN Summer Challenge 1600. We've seen Magical Bet come through. Well done to the Glenn Cotson team. And Lunga's the man who runs the show down this side. Congratulations. The stable's ticking along. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, we're trying, you know. Take us through this horse. He's a horse who's been there or thereabouts. Yes, yeah, he's a nice horse. Uh, even at home, he's one of those horses at work, always quiet, relaxed, you know. I tell Muziani, you draw. You got the lightweight here, you draw two. I mean, you carry on 52 and then you draw four. So I don't like you to sit further behind, you know what I mean? Now tell us about the stable in form around the country. Yeah, let me finish up. I'd like to say good luck for all the connection for this horse. Uh, good luck to Glenn Coots in Cape Town, to Kathy. And um, Glenn, you have three winners in PE on Friday. Had one on Friday at Gravel. So that five wins in one weekend, you know. So I'd like to say good luck to Glenn. Well done, Lunga. Thanks very much. Uh, good luck to Muzieni. You had a lot of winners for me when I was in PE. You know me very well. 
Well done, their man of many talents. Greg Pitts is going to hand over the floating trophy for the winning connections and also for the winning trainer, Glenn Cotson. Thanks to Monica and Greg Pitts for the Coxes, the Langleys, and a host of winning connections. Well done to Lunga. Let's get the winning pilot in, Muzi Yeni. You're going to slip behind me, Muzi, and come into the winner's box here. Take us through how things mapped out for you. Yes, uh, you know, I had a very good draw and uh, had a nice lightweight. So it was pointless giving it away. I'd like it to be just hold my position and uh, let the fast ones come across. I was in a beautiful spot. Uh, swung for home. He traveled like he would go through it quite easily. As soon as he got alongside of them, he started laboring, looking to get out of it. But obviously I changed my stick once or twice, got his mind on the job. I thought it was a win for a merit. Just well done to Mr. Cotson, well done to Lunga. Great teamwork. Super. Thank you very much. Well done to my sponsors, Winning Form, and obviously to all the owners, the Winning Connections. Just a huge thank you. From Greg Petzer, there's your winning memento. Well done to jockey Muzi Yeni. And my boys, well done to the winning groom. He's not here. Thanks very much to Greg Petzer and Monica there. The winner is Magical Bet in a driving finish.